What up everybody, it's your girls alive from Kickback Couture. Today I'm gonna show you how to use MIDI triggered effects and reason. So that is something like Stutter Edit 2 by Isotope or something like Artillery by Sugar Bites or Ovox by Waves, Vocal Synth by Isotope, anything like that that requires or allows you to control the sound with MIDI, I'm gonna show you how to use that. Let's get into it. To start off, I'm gonna drag in some effects that we can utilize. So we could do vocal synth, we could do isotope stutter edit, we can do sugar bites, artillery too. And let's also pull in Waves Ovox. Waves. Oh, oh, oh. Ovox Stereo. All right, cool. So I'm going to turn these off one by one. And we'll just go down the list so I can show you how it works. Let's actually start with Stutter Edit 2 since it's the newest thing that has been released as far as this type of device goes. Now, let's listen to the melody. Now, in order to trigger this device, you're simply going to select it over here. Alright, now that was me pressing different keys on the keyboard, and that was the effects triggering and affecting the sound. Now, you got to make sure the play mode is on MIDI in order for it to do that and it also gives you some directions which are quite unnecessary but if it doesn't work for you for some reason by just clicking on it you can do what the directions tell you to do and this would work for any of these devices ideally you would just come up to your preferences and you would go to the sync window which it was already on and then you would pick your MIDI device that you're using um, I'll just choose port 1 it doesn't really matter what I choose and then we come over here, click on Advanced MIDI, this area right here, and you select what device you're going to be using. So that device is called Clang 1, and that is Stutter Edit. So we basically just do that, and then it would allow us to control it. But as I said, it's already working, and that is completely unnecessary. All right, cool. Now let's jump to the next effect. I'm gonna delete Stutter Edit 2. Um, let's go ahead and turn on uh, Ovox. All right, let's hear the melody. Now this is on as an insert and it's affecting the entire signal instead of being triggered. So what we'll do is click on this area here. We have internal track sidechain. We also have the note source, which you could change to MIDI here. And this is going to be important depending on which type of VST you're using, where this option is. Now let's put this on track and we'll make sure I have this selected. Now each time I play, it comes back in. So it's kind of like a gate in which when I press down, it opens up. If we put it on internal, the effect will be present and we can do like some harmonies of some sort. So. Now this sounds terrible. So hopefully you come up with something that sounds much better. Um, but what's going to be important here is just changing the note source 
on whatever you're using and making sure that you have it selected over here on the left side you need to click on this if you don't click on it you won't have your midi focus on the device so let's try it for artillery i turned it on we click on this left tab this blue tab now it's gray if it wasn't selected it would be blue so it's gray we hear some delays in there now we got course. So super simple and we didn't have to go over here and do anything with the advanced MIDI device. So I would say ignore that if that's what you're trying to do. Last but not least, we got vocal synth too. Let's hop in here. All right, and it's on auto mode. So you probably want to switch it to MIDI. And it gives you the same directions as a uh, isotope uh, stutter edit 2 did, but we don't need those directions because it's a lot simpler than that these days. So let's hear. And let's make sure we have it selected. All right. So. Right now I'm just playing random chords and like I said, it's like a gate and that opens the gate up. When I turn on vocal synth two and I play a chord, I'm playing a C minor chord right now. It takes over the initial melody sound and it replaces it with the engines here in vocal synth two and plays it in the chord that I'm triggering on my keyboard. All right, so y'all have fun with your effects. Kick back, cook up, most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kick back, and cook up.